Hey, hey, everybody, Beardo Dude back with another episode of Stone Shard Permadeath with the equipment update. And today we are going to go and visit the Skelly Bros out of the crypt and see how we do. So stay tuned. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, and if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel. Alrighty, we're going to... Uh, basically, we're real close to level 7, so I'm going to go run. I just slept for a couple of days to reload the second dungeon, and then we'll go try out the crypt. I and mean, we're probably good enough with our skills and everything to go and take it on but just to be safe uh, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and get the extra extra stat points and skill whatever we end up choosing where are we at we could get magma rain we could get the extra bonus towel would be nice we're gonna be kind of stuck until we get treaties four to get the uh the really good stuff I mean magma rain is cool I almost feel like I could take it or leave it I'm sure somebody uh, in the comments can argue with me on that um, the passive safe distance seems like it would be good I mean I think what is the the trade each learned spell grants 2% magic power so learn spell does that include passives because it makes me think it's only if you learn the spells themselves i guess maybe we can do a test on that we'll go ahead and get safe distance as the next one just because it'll give us more pyromancy power fumble chance uh, i'm guessing that's just because just so we don't drop our spells or miss this doesn't really seem to happen much unless it's with um what's it called the uh fire barrage I also get just enough money to get the mantle, the cowl I mean, not the mantle. So we no longer have to listen to this stupid hat, thank goodness. Alright, we already got some challengers here, just outside the range here. I was almost hoping they were going to get close to each other. pretty good damage there. I'm wondering if it's because of the uh, the stats we have. Light him up. Yeah, that's a good idea. You should probably just walk straight into the fire. I like that. Ah, seriously? If that's the way you want to play it, man. We can do that. I know there was at least one more guy. Decent XP for these guys. The spear guys compared to some of the other ones. Babuya, 55? Yeah. That's, I mean, obviously, because we... Seriously? I mean, I'll do it. Just like seriously though. Oh, here we go. Bo -bo -bo oh man, that's kind of a nice combo there. We don't have any skill points though, or energy points. I mean, much damage. Oh, not very much. Hopefully, jeez, oh, seriously? Oh, he's almost dead. Goodness. We might get that level before we even get to the first dungeon. Let's grab all their stuff and we'll go sell it. Like, why not, right? Grab all their stuff, all the things. Let's try to uh, Tetris. 
as much as we can. We'll drop some of this stuff because we can always just come back and get it, honestly. Got another Guten Dog. I don't think I got room for it. Yeah, it's just... We'll come back for this stuff, like, immediately. We know where we have to go, so... I don't think we'll get very much, but... It's like, why not, you know? We don't... I think we don't, like, really have any money at all, so... Gotta do the rounds here. Okay, not too bad. And then... Let's go find... Woodbro here. Selling the broken shield. So this guy, the wolf pelts. And then we'll get back on our, uh, our way there. I wasn't really expecting that. Let's see. Well, he's got the Geomancer mantle. <clears throat> if we get enough money saved up, could get the Pyromancy one, but we probably got to do three, four quests, unless we just get really good drops on these dungeons. I mean, the Crypt is pretty well known for uh, epic loot. I wasn't expecting to uh, get into so much fighting already. These guys just want it out for me or something. And this was like the only tile to really fight anybody on too. I think all the rest of it is planes. Did we... Yeah, we're full up on water. Okay. That's the important one. Get that down. Uh, yeah, we probably want to cook that, but might do the rounds for some mushrooms when we get to the camp. Or when we get to the bandit fort. Oh, we got to go over one. That's what it was. Oh, I'll just go straight down. Maybe we'll run into somebody. Baron's feeling happy. He's like, this annoying <clears throat> witch's hat isn't talking to me anymore, so. I'm a lot happier now. I guess we. I, I always forget. I should be trying to get the uh, rabbits and stuff now that we got the pyro. I used to always just ignore them. Alright, this is the. This will get us over. And I think there was only two guys, maybe? Might be wrong on that. I wonder if uh, Fly Garrick and Death Cap got reduced, too. Because I know that they said that mushrooms... Like, they said it in, like, general terms. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is the one with the... I think there's only two guys. Oh, we're not going to be able to... I forgot they fixed the range stuff so you can't, like, fire at them through, uh... Oh, man, maybe he would drop, uh... Pyro Treaties. That would be cool. Light them up. Yeah, I mean, now that we have... Now that we have more spells, it might be actually worth it to get, uh... Nah, he just dropped a useless staff. It might be worth it to get that first passive. Oh, I'm trying to get the jet pass. Start opening up with Melting Ray. Because this seems like it almost always lights them on fire. It's kind of nice only having two guys there. I think that one where we got wrecked on. Actually, let's check. One of the, that one the that we got. No, that didn't change. So they changed the useless one. Let me check the fly Garrick. Maybe it was just the penny bun and the pine cap. 
That doesn't seem like it changed much. Alright. We'll get started. Clearing shop. It's gonna be quick. Uh, oh yeah, I just need like maybe one or two guys and we'll level up already. Uh, and I got my two lock picks. Finally learned. Man, if we get that one uh, bonus range, it'll make a big difference. Nice. Oh, let's get our... <clears throat> we'll get our mana back. Skill, energy, I don't know. You get, I think you guys know what I'm talking about when I start saying stuff like that. Come on. Pyro 4. I'll do like an... I'll, I'll turn on the web... I'll turn on my uh, camera and I'll do like a... A legit backflip if we uh, get power four. I don't know how to do a backflip, but I think I would. Oh man, he rushed us. All right, man. Sorry, you knocked me back. And there we go. So we'll pump. Continue to pump up willpower. Yeah, let's get the. We'll get the bonus tile. That'll make a difference. Because usually, like, they're. The way that they alert. <clears throat> I think I'll be able to stay out of their range. But then still. Uh, ooh, there we go. I like that. I like when you guys group up like that. Jeez. Baron ain't playing around, man. It is really fun playing uh, Magic, though. I remember playing uh, Geo with uh, Arna. It was a lot of fun, too. But I think the thing, too, is like you start to get a point to a point with Pyro where it's like, they're not really going to be able to do much against you, as long as you keep them out of range. We're already picking up food, too. We got the garlic, and we already got some cheese, so... Oh, we got a lovely... Oh, I thought it was an apple. Lovely tomato. So let's... Yeah, we'll eat the cheese. Nobody? Come on, Pyro 4. Alright, I'll take a dish. Man, we've really been, like, slacking on the treaties. I do have some treaties to sell that I've been keeping, um... That I've been keeping in, uh... In Osbrook. Come on, man. Okay, we'll take that. We've kind of been needing that. Now at least we have like super backup. Let me rearrange, put everything back where it was supposed to be. Okay. Come on. Come on, man. But I mean, it might be too. What dropped? Oh, crowbar. Trusty crowbar. You know what? It's almost worth it to pick it up early in the dungeon. Because I think it'll take precedence over your lockpicks. And it's like guaranteed to open stuff. I don't know if that's 100% accurate. But I did pick one up and then it ended up being gone out of my inventory. web thing yeah I mean you can break everything by hitting the control button but I just don't know how useful it really is all right we already got our level yeah obviously the more levels the more enemies the better 
like levels to the dungeon. More chances for loot and and the such and such as that. What are you guys really hoping that they put in uh, the way forward update? I think my number one thing, and all the AI stuff is cool, and the dungeon generation and everything, but I really hope that they, uh, that they put, um, brain in there. I hope we get some additional areas, because I think that would make a huge difference. And in these playthroughs, I could basically be playing, like, much longer with the same character. Cause I, I want to do range, but I almost want to wait for the update. Oh man, let's get him a quick melting ray. Yeah, you can stay there, that's fine. How dead is he? He's pretty dead. Oh man, he put uh, lose the initiative. Is it lose the initiative? Instead of seize the initiative. All right, let's get our some of our health back here. Real quick, like our energy restoration went up by one. I was thinking that's from the cowl. Okay. Well, we'll run back. We'll break all that stuff. I used to do it where I would only break stuff at the end of the dungeon. Potato. I just like running the crypts the most just because the uh... You always get like some nice gold items out of those bases where you're like... Maybe every once in a while you'll get a gold or silver nugget but... Not very often. Okay. Let's see, how are we doing? Eh. Got a little bit, a little bit of XP. Nothing crazy. I am thinking of doing a test run. I know somebody on Reddit has posted that you can basically expand the dungeons to be way bigger. And I'm curious as to how that would play out like do something crazy like 10 levels or something but I don't know how you guys would feel if that's cheating let me know Spears treaties that's interesting at least it's relevant to what he was trying to whale on me with <coughs> Alright, who's down here? Ooh, twofer. Let's let him get, get cozy. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Man, that is just such... When they get... When they bunch up like that, it's just like... It's so perfect. Like, queue up the... Uh, uh, what was his name from Emperor's New Groove? Uh, was it Krog? No, it wasn't Krog. What was his name? I can't think. But that meme where it says it's all coming together. I'm sure you guys have seen that. See, did our Yeah, see, we used up the crowbar. It's good to keep... Yeah, I'm almost... I think I'm going to start doing that more. Boosh. Three steps, man. That's all you can take. No more, no less. I right, gotta move things around a little bit here. Definitely want to take that. Iron. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we've got all that stuff. Let's eat some of the smaller things to clear up some space. 
Okay. Yeah, we can dump, like, the, uh... Oh, that's gonna... I'm pretty sure that's boss, man. Nope. Oh, third level. Nice. Nice. I think we still had one over here, though. If we get to a thousand off this one, that would be pretty... Pretty sweet. Come on. I don't want all these lockpicks failing. I'm used to also, like, having a lot of them drop. And I swear we haven't seen a single lockpick drop. We've seen we've seen multiple crowbars. Just don't get me wrong, those are nice to pick up. But y'all, all right. That doesn't inspire confidence. All right, we're gonna have them coming from both sides here. Not cool, man. Oh, he didn't hear anything. Did nobody hear anything? Okay. Oh, I probably could have. No, he was still out of my range. raise shield. I don't I don't think a shield's gonna save you from being melted though. More chances, come on, treaties four. ID scroll and we'll take it. Another uh, silver clasp. We got over here. Nothing. Get some barrels here. Get these out the way. I mean, the nice thing about hitting these with the staff is you always have that chance with the crit to do the whooshing three hits. Oh, man. Let me get stupid archer. Oh, we got a bunch of dudes coming. He's pretty on fire, though. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, you can do that if you want. It's not going to help very much. Delta. Um yeah, you whiffed it, bro. My spells don't whiff like that. Oh, there are four guys over here. Alright, we don't have much more points here. Oh, he's almost dead anyways. Rock him with that move. That was four dudes in one room. I like that. And another room with bookshelves, even though I probably won't get Jack. Always empty. Empty, empty, empty. These guys are not learned. Learned scallops. Uh, scallop, scallops? Scholars. Jeez. They're not very smart. They're probably a bunch of dummy dumbs. Oh, I said that. <laughs> and then he freaking. Ah. Uh. Alright, let me bring a fire. And then we'll blaze them, blaze it up, 420 blaze. And how much? He's pretty done, so let's melting ray, lumpy head here. Nice combo. C -c 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 combo breaker. Man, we're cleaning shot. We might get. Oh, we already broke a K, so one K, so that's pretty nice. I like that. We've got three more doors to explore. What do we got in here? He's not a boss man, right? No, he's a goon. The goon. 
Yeah, that extra range of tile is really nice. I'll just say that. Oh, more bookshelves that are going to be completely empty. Or we're going to have for axes one, which I really needed. I'm so glad we found that. I don't know how it's going to play without axes one. Alright, two more doors. At least. Nope, even more. All open? Oh, just open barrel rooms. Oh man, seriously? Don't be playing with me, man. No, you're not gonna get that off, bro. Sorry. Yeah, that combo of melting ray, incinerate, and uh fire barrage, that's pretty much endgame for any guys. That's why I'm like debating Magmarine. I mean, I want to get it just for the additional magic power is nice, but since I opted to get the uh, opted to get the passive first, it seemed more useful, like practical. Boss man, there he goes. Light him up. I wonder if it's like guaranteed that that first one is gonna let's mix it up we'll blaze them oh he's still alive all right you're done so the oh dual wielding that's important for a uh, aspiring mage oh we used up one whole uh one whole shmagigi there all right well we can at least take that because there's not gonna be jack in here oh great great sword two okay well that's at least worth money come on pyro four no okay we'll take it thank you sweetheart close oh thank you <laughs> um running low in space i guess we'll get rid of the splint for now Oh, we gotta take that stupid alchemy kit, though. The bolt of cloth is worth decent. What, for four slots? It's still not crazy good. Um. Not really anything we want to ditch. Can we just ditch the alcohol? Let's get rid of that one. Just for the sake of it. Yeah, victory drink. It'd be cool if... Well, I guess your fumble chance probably goes up, right? Agility... Yeah, your fumble chance increases. I was going to say, it'd be funny if you start fumbling spells when you're drunk. Like, light yourself on fire. That'd be awesome. Oh, that's not what I clicked on. At least that's not what I remember clicking on. Okay. Ooh, double guy. I like when you guys are bunched up like that. It makes it easier for me. Oh, I thought you were gonna buddy up here. How dead is he? <laughs> I like that. And it kind of reminds me of like bleeding them with the crossbow. You just let them walk to you and then they die while they're running at you. I would like to see the enemies have medical supplies. Or at least just give them the option to bandage up and stuff. We're finding a lot of mages in this dungeon, so hopefully... Ah, come on, man. Three damage? There we go. Ah, uh, dis much disappoint. Or such disappoint is what I should say. Yeah, we don't need the thread. Yeah, this is gonna be a two for also. We're gonna go. Should be able to go and run the Necromancer dungeon. Yeah, I might go and look. I know, like I said, there's a Reddit post to make the dungeon, like increase the number of levels for the dungeon. I wouldn't mind doing that. Make it like. Oh, we missed a door. Make it like uh, five levels, or maybe even go crazy and do ten, but you need to bring a lot of food for that. 
Especially for something like the crypt. Really? Two more dudes? Aw, oh, not cool, man. Is he almost dead? Not quite. Ooh. That's how you want to play it? I'll do it right back, man. I ain't even got no problems doing that. Nice. Melting Ray. Melt that fool. Alright, come on, bookshelves. Gaming dice. Who's putting dice on their bookshelf? That's, what, that's the problem. That's what I'm talking about. These guys are not smart. They need more books. The ultimate insult would be if we found uh, Geo 4. Then I'll have to go up. Oh, you know what? We'll switch to Geomancy, guys. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Alright. <clears throat> we made it to the crypt. Gotta light up some Skelly Bros. But first, everyone's favorite. The Grave Reveal. Let's see if there's anything good. I don't think we found anything particularly awesome. We have found quivers. I think some equipment before. It's not that anything would even really be that useful. If we did find something. I would almost prefer just to find something that we can sell. I have gotten the exquisite casket from one of these, which was pretty sweet. It's like 500 base uh, crowns. So he usually sells, I think, like 400 to no neck. Come on, baby. Give us something cool for the people. Nope. Horseshoe. Let's see. We've got at least three. There might be five. I'm just starting to get dark. I can see that. But, I mean, the ghouls aren't really going to scare us very much at this point. Our main concern is the skeletons and particularly the necromancer. I don't remember if the skeletons have, uh, like, magic resistance. Yeah, weak sauce. Alright. Oh, we got two more at least. Might be one towards the bottom too. Yeah, shut up, Aaron. Just do it. Complaining. He's always complaining about something, except for when he's not. It's those old man hands. He can't dig very well. Come on, man. Give give me something. Plus, we want to get this all done before uh, the evening hits. You can see the sun's starting to go down. Candlestick. There might be one more down here. Yep. It's pretty decent. I think that's what six graves. Come on, baby. Give us something good. Oh, man. A gold tooth. That's what I was really hoping for. Alright. Well, kind of disappointing, but... Could have been worse. We could have gotten absolutely nothing. So at least we got that one little tooth. Maybe the crypt will make up for it. Oh, we should have grabbed. Oh, no, I did grab. I was like, I should have grabbed another lock pick, and I did. I remembered. Damn bones, man. We got bones up in her. There we go. Let's see. How much did that do? Let's 
do a normal, normal spiel here. Okay. It looks like we should do well against the uh, Skelly Bros here. Granted, we don't get a room of like five of them, which I've seen before. I think we do well against the Wraith too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got open room over there. Could be bad news. Oh no, it's just for the next level already. Come on, man. Give me something. I need gold. I need gold, man. Give me all the teeth you got. Alright, one crown is not like what I was going for, but. Oh, we got another dude. Oh, we got a chest too. Sweet. So, confirm the skeletons can be lit on fire. Do, 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 da, da, do, do, do. Eh, weak sauce. Come on, room of bookshelves. Man, this is pretty underwhelming so far. Hopefully we at least get three levels. We're almost to level uh, 2000 XP though, that's nice. Good to get like 2000, 3000 XP per video or per play session, that's nice. Alright, oh we got Mage Bro there. Let's laser him up here. Yeah, you get me with that weakness. I didn't even catch on fire. You'd think since they have robes and stuff, they'd be more prone to catching on fire. Oh man. Oh no. Alright, keep doing that. That's fine. Uh, we need one turn. There we go. How much should we get? Okay. Could have been better. Oops. Let's do blaze it up. Oh, we don't have any more moves. Yeesh. Oh. Well, that worked out. 22. I guess because we use the blaze. We need to start using blaze as an opener more. Okay, nobody in here. Oh, there's a ring. That's a melee ring, but ring nonetheless. Oh, we're hungry too. We need to eat real quick. What do we got? Oh yeah, I got my got cheese and pancakes and a pretzel. We came prepared for the cribs. Lately, I've been liking to grab those as like extra food. Man, our range is getting pretty nuts. Oh man. Didn't even do what we wanted it to do. Oh, he's at least almost dead. Light him up, boys. Oh, and he's almost dead. Give him a push him over with the staff. Ooh, okay. Take some gems. Gems and jewels. Always welcome. Let's see. Be careful. There's not like some hidden dudes. I don't really like all this being open. I have a feeling someone's not in their room. Alright, we went all this way. Let's see. It's gonna be him. Oh no, level three. We got a lot of stuff to check, and I think there's still some rooms back there we didn't get into yet. Oh, we got one. Blaze them up. 
Are there resistance? Other resistance to everything except for fire resistance. Sucks to be you. That's what I thought. Man, we should just use Ring of Fire right away. All right, we do have a chest. Chance at greatness here. Uh, ugh. I guess we'll take it. I think I don't think that's the exquisite one. I think that's novice. If I'm not mistaken, it's not gonna fetch very much money, but loot is loot, so. Yeah, just stand in the fire, man. That's cool. I like that. Oh, he's got the hunting bow. The hunting bow always ends up being decent. It's what, like... Oh, no, his is all busted. If they're not busted, they're, like, in the 200s. I usually end up picking those up, or I used to, at least. Um, all right, well, we cleared everything. Really, the only thing that we get damaged from anymore are the uh, spearmen and the archers. But we've been doing pretty good even against the archers. With our three spell combo, though, I mean, it should go without saying that we can just wreck them. All right. Man, all these locked doors. It's almost like they don't want me going in here. More duels. Oh man, we walk forward too much. At least he's still far enough away. Push him over. Just wait a minute. All right. Oh, I'm just gonna double check. I was like, don't break it right away. Oh, another chest. Guess what? Three chests? Two chests? Seven chests? Come on. Ooh. That's actually a pretty decent chest. Get a potion in there. Should we get a drinky poo? Yeah, you definitely want to check and break everything in the crypt. It probably has the most valuable of the uh, random loot stuff. Oh, there we go. Do we want to move? Let's move back one there we go perfect light this idiot on fire Are they oh they're not in range yet to do the uh he's gonna be almost dead oh his little skelly bros more dead than he is come on man There we go. Blaze it. Man. Did he get Oh, we got an enchantment scroll. Sweet. Definitely worth it then. Got a ring. Alright, come on, Pyro 4. Pyro 4. Come on, come on, come on. Spears 2. A weird one. Man, that's disappointing. Come on. Whoa, a lot of stuff in here. The girdle might even be, whoa, we filled up on gold, really? All right, well, we don't need that. Let's take, we'll take the girdle and that, and we need that. I can't tell. I don't remember if that is any good. We got a lot of unidentified stuff in this run. Um, we didn't really get anything to drop. Plus, we're kind of a little bit boned with the money stuff now. 
We'll see. I'll think about coming back for that. Hopefully nobody's screaming at me in the comments here. How much uh, XP do we get for... Oops. Yeah, the log. How much do you get for... 189, so... It's about the same as the... Um, find that dude in the, in the catacombs. Nothing fancy. Another unidentified ring. I think that is actually a spellcaster ring. Alright, we're almost done. And how much XP? Okay, yeah, we should get a level on the next run. Getting closer to Mr. Troll. Because the thing is, like, you can kind of, with the mage, you can almost sidestep getting Manshire rep. Oh, he's, my range is good enough that I can uh, get him from this far back. Let's see, yeah, he's almost done. Unholy blessing. Sorry, bro. Ooh, we got some nice crits there. All right, it's a nice ending, man. He gives a lot of XP though. How, much, how hungry are we? Can we eat a, a pancake? Okay. You know what? That really wasn't that bad as far as loot and stuff goes. Let me... Uh, I think that's the novice. And if it's novice, that sword's probably going to be worth more even though it's busted. But I, at the same time, and I don't think it's exquisite, because exquisite has, like, embroidery around it. Hmm. If we had to choose. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And we can ditch the tooth. Keep the gems. I mean, you could, in theory, get rid of the gates and stuff, but I almost think those are going to be worth more than the sword. Even this uh, well-conditioned uh, nightly girdle is going to be worth more. Yeah, I think we'll leave the sword. It is a pretty good run, so I'll see you guys back in town. Alright guys, that went super clean. Uh, not really running into any problems, so... No crazy loot, um, just the normal. Just going to keep uh, working on getting higher gear. We want to get the rest of the pyro uh, armor, get that pyro staff, and then we're pretty much done. So at that point, we might even consider doing the troll, but we haven't done anything in Manshire yet. So we might try to go and knock out those quests a few times at least, just, just for the sake of doing them. But... We'll kind of see. We'll go with the flow on this run. Uh, I don't want to end it too quick because we still have uh, probably at least a month, month and a half until way forward. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Say, no,